Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric, and oh my goodness, I'm not wearing glasses! Sorry if you hate me for that. Oh wait, I have to tell you what we're doing today. So on today's video, we'll be comparing 4 gigs versus 8 gigs in a Mac computer. Now let's hit the intro. So I always monitored my memory in my Mac, and I still do. And I use free memory to do that. And also free memory is in the Mac app store. It is free, I believe, or it's 99 cents. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, though, is this application does allow me to monitor my memory and also allows me to free up any unused memory, which still is being used apparently because Mac is not that great when it comes to memory usage or management. But anyway, I found that just opening up a few applications, maybe a decent amount of web pages in Safari or definitely video editing. And I saw my RAM drop to like 500 megabytes bytes free and well forget when I'm video editing I had like 10 20 megabytes free which was just miserable because then it would start freezing the computer or the computer would run very slowly the same thing happened with games now the games didn't exactly freeze up at least not as often but they definitely lowered in performance and also I can't really do a whole lot more if my mem memory is all being used up so you see the problem that's going to happen. So with all that said, I finally got 8 gigabytes of RAM for around 50 bucks on Amazon. And I have to say, it's been a great investment. Now that I'm using my computer, I do not have to worry about using up too much RAM. So I can open up tons more applications. I can video edit while web browsing. Oh my goodness, I could not do that before without Final Cut freezing up or something. I also have noticed that my computer has been a little bit faster with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I definitely have more gigs so I can do more things at the same time. So with all that said, I have to say 4 gigs is really bad. You cannot do a whole lot without the computer using up too much RAM. And when it uses up too much RAM, the computer starts freezing up or just going very slow in general. Now with 8 gigs, you can use a lot more applications. You can do a lot more things. It is a little bit faster. And when I get down to like around maybe 50, 10, 20 megabytes free, it doesn't like chop up and freeze or anything, which is very nice. Maybe a little bit of choppiness or a little bit of freezing, but not anything compared to 4 gigs of RAM, which is just great. In conclusion of this video, I recommend 8 gigabytes of RAM for any computer, no matter what you do. Now, if you're gonna be doing more pro stuff, you may wanna go and get more like 16 gigs, 32 gigs, whatever your computer supports. But yeah, 8 gigabytes or more is what I recommend. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please comment, subscribe, and like this video because that'll help me. And also, send me video requests of anything you want me to do on this channel. So anyway, guys, this is the Techie One, signing out.